from you last week but it didn't come forth. I get paid at the end of the month. That doesn't matter to me. It is the time you're going to pay. Just get out before I call the cops. African Capital Market Services. This will do. Give me back that file. What is the third of 350,000? Just give me back that file. Let's see. A hundred and fifty thousand shillings. Hey, it's one hundred and fifteen thousand. That sounds very correct, but to me, it is a hundred and fifty thousand. Just give me back that file. This time, I'm sure I'll be hearing from you. Just please give me back that file, because if you walk out of this office with it, I'll have to call the cops. Who is stopping you? Have a blessed day. Hi, how are you doing, Joe? How was your night? Don't you think that would be appropriate? I need your help. <laughs> yeah, you do look like you need help. What is it? I need some money. Hmm. How much and when? 150,000 today. <laughs> are you serious? Would I be asking if I wasn't? I, I would help you, but I'm wondering how you'd pay me back that kind of money. Listen, don't take any offense, Liz. It's what kind of money that uh, someone like you would come by easily. I'll pay you back. How? Just give me the money. I do not have 150,000 bob to give away. Joe, please, I really, really need this money. And if ever there was a time I needed your help, it's now. Please. I'll think about it. Joe, please! I will think about it, okay? Akiyako Insurance Brokers. Yeah, what about them? They rejected the claim by Kenya Raha Curious. Grounds? Suspicion of foul play. Pretty basic stuff. So, is that all I'll be handling in this farm? The pretty basic stuff? Uh, uh, cases? No. Yep. Pretty basic stuff. a bit simpler. Make what simpler? Oh, I'll take you off for dinner. I'm 
I'm already spoken for. What a pity. Natalie, hi. Hi, Joe. How are you? I'm very well. I received your email. Do you have new information? Yes, we do. All right. This must be the new investigator you told me about, Felix Namaya. Actually, it is pronounced as Felix with an E, not Felix. All right, my bad. Mm. Felix with an E. Yeah. All right, do, do you document the investigation? Oh, sure thing. I have it. This is good. This is good. You know, actually, I've put you up as one of the witnesses. I hope you're up for it. Oh, I've been testifying in such cases before, so I have no prepping. All right, so uh, you have the facts of the investigation? At my fingertips. Felix is actually our investigator in all our insurance claim cases. Trust me, he knows what I he understand you trust in him because you've worked with him for a while. But all the same. I assure you, there is nothing to worry about. All right. Okay, let me get to it. All right. Kenyara Curials versus Akiaku Insurance Company Limited. Kenyara, under the management of Ronald Moss, is demanding the payment of their insurance claim of one million Kenya shilling, which the insurance company Hakiako contains is falsified. The claim was made three months ago on the 19th of February. My client waited for two whole months only to be informed that the claim could not be settled due to some falsified documentation. When challenged it in the proof, the insurance company went numb. Your Honor, <laughs> the investigation of this report was confidential and uh, the insurance company was entitled to do so and not to go showing all and sundry the methodology and the, the, the reports Same that we Hakiyako had. The Insurance Company refused to cooperate. It necessitated the filing of this suit for the court to compel them to honor their claim. Now, <clears throat> is the insurance company ready and willing to show why the claim was rejected? To the last detail. Which is odd, considering they categorically refused to do so earlier. Must companies be dragged into court for them to finally open their mouths to give their clients satisfactory responses to their claims? Your Honor, the claim was rejected on a good reason, and we'll prove why right here in this court. Okay, now let's share it. You are the proprietor of Kenya Raha Curios. Yes. For how long has your company been operational? Five years. Five successful years. Five years? That's impressive. Uh, uh, we also do a lot of exporting to the United Kingdom and the US. You know, there is a lot of market out there. Good stuff. And for how long have you insured your curious company with Hakiako Insurance Company Limited? Oh, for as long as I've been in operation. Five years? Yes. And in those five years, did you ever make a claim on uh, damaged goods? Never. So for five years, you paid your premiums. Five years you renewed your contract with Hakiako Insurance Limited Company. You always fulfilled your end of the bargain, but when it was their turn, they bailed on you. Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. Miss Malasi, you can do better than that. I'm sorry, Your Lordship. What was the nature of your claim? Oh, okay. Um, my goods were stolen. Actually, all uh, the collection of curios was uh, stolen on the 5th of February. Uh, the saddest bit of uh, this theft is that uh, uh, all the goods stolen were meant to, for export to the United Kingdom. What was their value? Uh, 1400000 How much was your claim? Uh, I had uh, insured my stock for the same amount. Okay. Let us go back to the day of the theft. It was on the 5th of February? Yes. Did you report the matter to the police? Immediately I learned about the theft. And what was their findings? Uh, they confirmed that the, the, rather, the thieves who uh, stole the goods uh, entered through the ceiling. 
uh, as the windows and the doors were not broken. But uh, they were not able to do any arrests after the investigations. Your Honor, I'd like to hand in the police report that corroborates my client's testimony. Accepted. So after the police investigation, you immediately filed a report with Hakia Insurance Company Limited? Yes. That was on the 19th of February? Yeah, yeah. Did you receive any sort of communication from them? No. No check in the mail? No. Not even a telephone call to no. explain to you what was going on? Not at all. Are you sure your contact details were correct? Very correct. Your Honor, why belabor the point? The insurance company did not communicate to my clients in any form. This is because the case was still under investigation. A phone call, a text message or an email informing my client that the claim was under investigation would have been professional. Mm -hmm. Did the company contact you in those five years to inform you that your policy was due for renewal? <laughs> All the time. Actually, they sent me text messages, letters, uh, reminding me to do the same. Thank you. Nothing further. No need to belabor the point. Now, did the police come to your shop and conduct an investigation? Yes. Did they conclude that uh, the only way possible your curios would have been removed... Correction! Stolen! Stolen uh, would have been only through the space in the ceiling of your shop. Uh, but the abstract says so. Please answer the question. Okay, yes. So you actually concur with the report from the police? Yes. That the police conclude the thieves came through the opening on the ceiling of your shop? I have already answered that question. Oh, I just wanted to know if you're sure of it. Okay, I'm sure. So, the conclusion was from the police and not from you. Objection! For how long does the council intend to go round in circles? Get to the point, Cario. Your Honor, this is a copy of the occurrence book page which shows the report Ronald Moise made on the day of the theft. And it reads, Your Honor, Relevance. It reads, the man claims thieves entered his shop from the ceiling and robbed him all of his goods. So? Well, you say that the police conducted the investigation and determined that the thieves entrance. And yet there is an indication of some that suggests otherwise. Same difference. Really? Same difference? The copy will be accepted when the police authenticate the same. Arrangements are being made, uh, Your Honor, to make sure you get a certified copy of the, 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 the report from the police before the end of the day. The police came to my shop and confirmed everything that I'm saying. You've already contradicted yourself enough. There's nothing that you'll say here that will be taken as the truth. But, but the police came. That's your word. And they're not even here to prove or dispute anything at the moment. Do you want to, tell, to, to say that I'm a liar? I did not call you anything. <laughs> yes, you are. Your Honor, I'm done with this witness. But he's trying to call me a liar. I did not. B but you're implying. You may step down, Ronald Mwasi. Call in your next witness. The plaintiff calls Edna Mwasi. His wife? Also the company's accountant. Okay. All right then, go on. You done with the Africa Capital file? What file? The Africa Capital file I gave you to work on. A 
Africa Capital. Yes, the one I gave you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I vividly recall giving you that file two days ago. No, you did not. Are you trying to make a fool out of me? I don't have it. Liz, I gave you that file on Tuesday. You said you'd be done with it in the next few days. Elsie, I do not have that file. Maybe you gave it to Tokara. No, I gave it to you. <laughs> nope, not me. Listen, I don't know what games you're trying to play. If I don't have that file in the next few minutes, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Hey, I need that file. Seriously. Edda Mwasi, you are the accountant of Kenya Raha Curios. Yes, I am. For how long have you been in that position? From the company's inception, I'm also a shareholder. What is the average value of goods at any given time? Normally, we keep it low as a safety measure. How low? Within the ranges of 50,000. Most of the pieces are samples. We focus more on wholesale movement as opposed to single pieces. OK. As my husband explained earlier, most of our clients are abroad. We send the few samples that we can provide. The client picks on what they like. Then they place it on order. So in this case, the goods that were stolen were actually for a client in the UK. Correct. And they were worth 1.4 million? Exactly. Is this the inventory you submitted to Hakiako Insurance Company Limited? Yes, this is the list and the price per item. Thank you. Your Honor, I'd like to submit the inventory as evidence. Accepted. At any given time, did Hakiako Insurance Company contact you to tell you that uh, your inventory had a problem, the, the inventory that you submitted with the claim? No. Nope. Thank you. Nothing further. You have quite a list of items here. It was a large consignment. Yeah, of course, it was. Do you have documentation to prove the purchase of these items listed here? Sorry? Do you have the documentation that proves the purchase of these items listed here? Oh, you mean the receipts? Hmm. Unfortunately, they were stolen with the curious. Stolen? Yes, they were in the file containing the receipts, which were in the boxes, which had the curios. You kept the receipts for the original purchase of the goods together in the same box with the curios themselves? Yes. But you kept the inventory in, in, in the file? Yes. You know, I'm not an accountant, but one does not need to be an accountant to know that the inventory goes hand in hand with the relevant receipts, therefore, should be placed together. If I had seen this coming, I would have fired otherwise. Well, it puzzles me that the box meant for the shipping to the UK. Is it the UK, right? UK, yes. The box with the curios meant for sale contained the receipts showing the original price of the goods. And why was that? We were not shipping yet. We were still preparing for the order. But you told the court the goods were meant for selling in the UK. You even had a profit, net profit calculated on it. There was no mention of it being a, a part order. You see? Yes. The curios which were stolen had a few pieces remaining to complete the order. OK. Do you have the order? Which order? <laughs> the order of the goods for exportation. Everything is done online, no paper trail. Okay then, do you have the emails? Do you have the, the online orders? I mean, let me guess, they were also in one of the boxes that were incidentally stolen, right? Objection. Suckers in misplaced. Your Honor, Kenya Raha claims to have had goods worth 1.4 million shillings in their shop. And the inventory shows there are no receipts to prove the purchase of these goods at the moment. With this inventory that I have here, there's no order to confirm the intended supposed exports. And we have no way of proving that the goods they had in that shop were worth 1.4 million shillings. All we have is this itemized list here.
Elsie, you wanted to see me? Yes, did I give you the Africa Capital Market Services file? Oh, the Market Services, the new client, right? Yes, thank goodness, I've been losing my mind over it. Is that what you've been looking for? All morning, please bring it in. I don't have it. What do you mean you don't have it? I don't have it, but I saw it at Liz's desk a day or two ago. Liz, what is going on? My what? Tokara said she saw the file on your desk. I told you before, I have never seen that file. She saw it on your desk and I recall giving it to you. Did you lose it? Or Let's misplace see. it? Seems like you want to accuse me of something, so why don't you just go by the head and say it? Files do not just So you'd there. rather blame me? I gave you that file, the least you can do is admit it. You know what? I am sick and tired of being the punching bag in this office. Every time something goes wrong, it's always my fault. Lease the phones, lease the facts, lease the... Well, too bad for the lease this, lease that. It's your job, and if you don't like it, you can walk. What's going on? Elsie? Liz lost the only ACM file. And this the way you intend to find it? More copies were made? None. Find it. Get it. So what is your position and role at uh, Hakiako Insurance Company? I am the insurance claim assessor. My job entails investigating each claim made by the policyholder. I also check that this claim lie in the terms and conditions of the policy. And I investigate the cause of the damage or loss. Basically, I scrutinize every claim. I verify and I confirm if it is legit for payment by our insurance company. I work in the underwriters' department. Okay, so you, you're the one they call upon when they've got claims that seem... Improper. Okay. Improper would be the politically correct words. All right. So then, uh, an investigation being called upon to Kenya Raha claims indicates that there was actually a suspicion. Yes. What warranted the investigations of these claims? For starters, in the history of the policy, there had never been a time where they had stocked goods worth more than 50,000 Kenya shillings. In fact, they were always in the range of 50,000. As the lady stated earlier, that was our first red flag. And uh, what was the second? According to the report made by the police, it states that the entry and the exit of the thief or thieves was a small hole in the ceiling. It is quite impossible to conceive the fact that a fully grown man could have passed through that tiny hole with the curious as well. What made it difficult? Because the weight of the ceiling cannot support the weight of a man, leave alone the curious in a box. Perhaps they took their time and took out one item at a time. Mm, still, it is very hard. It could have taken them an eternity. And you know thieves are always in a hurry to steal and go. Perhaps your theory is wrong. Um, not unless the person who did this had the weight and the size of a five-year-old. Now, personally, I don't think a five-year-old could have done this. Mm. No. Then what do you think is the case here? The claim is false. Mr. and Mrs. Mwasi are just trying to defraud the insurance company. Nothing further. As the insurance company assessor, you always assess claims. No, really. But in some instances, you've paid without having to look at them. Yes. So that means when you're called in to assess a claim, you automatically know that it has a problem. In most cases, yes. So that means you already have a preconceived verdict on the claim that you're handling since the claims department suspected foul play. Well, there are times when the claims are genuinely right. But the 
preconceived notion that the claimant is guilty is there when you are carrying out your investigation. That is not what I meant. The investigations are always carried alongside an independent investigator. Investigators whose checks are signed by the same insurance company. So tell me, how is it that investigations are independent and fair if you are already suspicious from the onset? Well, that is the nature of our job. That's just yidi yada, a pathetic attempt to escape payment when you've been receiving premiums for the past five years and without fail. All right, okay. So what about the books? Be specific to the month and the year of these books that you're referring to. Have you even looked at these books that you are referring to? Yes, I have read them. Okay, tell me. Which month and year did the company have the highest value of goods in the shop? Do you even have the facts? Well, I... I take really... it as a no. Thank you. There's a question about if uh, the ceiling can carry the weight. Yes. Did you test it? Uh, yes, I did. The moment I stood on it, it started giving way. It will not have carried the weight of a grown man, leave alone one carrying the curio. If the ceiling was not able to carry the weight of a man, then how did the curios get stolen from the shop? The other option would be, of course, through the door. So that means the curio was actually, or possibly, stolen? We would have considered that option if the owner of the shop, Mr. Mwasi, had vehemently refuted the possibility. Mm. How about the police? Did they consider any other way the curios would have been stolen from the shop? Perhaps, but that's a question they would best answer. Unfortunately, the statement and the report they issued indicate the entrance and the exit of the thieves and items being the ceiling. It is as though there was no investigation carried out into this matter. Why so? If the police had even bought bother to look at the ceiling, they would have noticed its lack of capacity to carry the weight of any thief. Mm, I see. The inventory, the books, lack of evidence supporting the huge UK order. All, all that led us to the conclusion that the claim was a sham. Okay. Thank you. Is it possible that the weakness of the ceiling was due to theft activity? That is, the weight of the thieves and the curious. No. Felix. Felix, with an E. Okay. Felix Namai. Thieves are very ingenious when it comes to items they want. Is there a way that they could have possibly stop? <laughs> Is something funny? Uh, forgive me. For what? You avoid too many movies, I see. This is not a Mission Impossible or a James Bond stand where a man hangs off from the, from the ceiling by the rope. I see you are underestimating the thieves. <laughs> For instance, is something about me that makes you laugh? Your hyperactive imagination. It surprises me that you have not figured this one out. The only way the curious left the shop is through the front door. See, since the door was not broken or the lock was not interfered with, the curious didn't, never left the shop. Implying? Either they were never there or the owners of the shop took them out themselves. Either way, the curios were never stolen from the shop. That's just your nonsensical theory. Nothing further. I find it extremely odd that you ask for your salary and a portion of your next month's salary, mid-month, and in cash. I understand, but I have, a, I have an urgent matter that I need to attend to, and it requires hard cash. I expect my staff to have sound financial management and judgment. Usually I'm very prudent with my money, but I'm caught up in a situation that actually... <laughs> 
Usually when someone says they are caught up in a fix and they need quick money, it implies they are in financial trouble and that can cause problems. Yeah, whatever it is, fix it. Because I don't want it to cause problems in your work. Yes. Thank you. Liz? Yes? Africa financial markets. Elsie tells me you're the last one to handle it. She told me the same thing, but I didn't touch it. I see no need to deliberate on this case any longer than necessary. Ronald Mwasi, the facts around the supposed theft are not clear, whichever way anyone looks at it. Surprisingly, the police investigation sheds no light on the situation. It's as though no investigation was carried out. Now, this makes me question them, and you, of course, for not pushing for a more thorough investigation. I, therefore, find that you have not proved your case on a balance of probabilities. Hakiako Insurance Company were within their rights in denying your claim. There are too many holes in it. And as such, this case is dismissed. Now, the legal costs will be borne by the plaintiff, that is Kenya Raha Kurios, for making such a frivolous claim and taking up the court's time. This court is adjourned. <laughs>